Ross Nixon was playing his 300th game for Selkirk and was hoping this would be a winning one to help him celebrate an impressive milestone. The occasion was the quarter-final of the Scottish Cup and Holder's Air were the opposition at Mill Bray. It was Selkirk who opened up their account first with a couple of well-taken penalties from fullback Matt Reed. Jamie Bover reduced the deficit with a penalty, but on 12 minutes we saw the first try of the match from Ross McCorkendale, immediately followed by this effort from Zach Howard, who got on the board with a superb try following a cheeky kick from Jack Anderson. With just one minute on the clock at the start of the second half, McCorkendale darted in for his second try, swiftly followed by the best one of the game, Michael Kirk, breaking through the defence and offloading to McCorkendale, who set up fullback Kieran Wood for this try in the corner. Selkirk had their moments in the second period and young fly half Cameron Eason glided in for a try for the suitors, converted by Matt Reed, but we wouldn't see any more points from Selkirk as Ayr dominated the rest of the game. Jamie Bova, Zach Howard and John Fulton all got on the score sheet to complete a very good afternoon for them, but a disappointing day at the office for Selkirk in their last game of the season. Final score, Air 49, Selkirk 13. Elsewhere, Kelso all but secured promotion to the Premiership with a 25-10 win at GHK. But to be absolutely sure of the National 1 title, they'll have to wait a couple of weeks when one point at Highland will confirm it. There were wins for Melrose and Peebles, but a loss for Berwick. Stuart Cameron, ITV News.